Hi, my name is Eric. You're watching Scratch TV, and this is Adventures in Golf. Do you play golf? Do you play golf, you know, like Tiger Woods? Does anybody here play golf? We're in Northern India, in Ladakh region, where there's the most private golf course ever. It's literally owned by the Indian military. I don't even know if we're gonna get to play it. No? Not okay. Not for civilians. Not for civilians. Course. If the journey here has been any indication, this episode is very touch and go. Flight. So after being in the air for 20 hours, we've got about four minutes till the plane leaves. Just found out that the one bag that has every battery for every camera did not make it. We have about six cameras and the only thing I can use is my iPhone. I think this is a doomed trip and this is not gonna work out. Great to see that a golf cart can save the day on your production when you're running late. You just have to tell them you're a golfer. Thank you, thank you. We made it. Thank you. Did we forget anything? Did we forget the cameras? Did we forget the batteries? Everything. Yeah. Everything. We have everything. So we just landed in Leh, which is like the northernmost spot in India. We're at about, I think it's 11,000 feet up. And we're headed to our hotel, the Grand Himalaya. It should be pretty awesome. People don't come here to play golf, but uh, we're gonna do that. Here we are in Leh, right there. You can see that we're bordering Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Islamabad is right there. There we go. Do you play golf? No? Do you know where the golf course is? Do you know the golf course in Leh or no? No. But there is one. Maybe. There is a golf course, right? Yeah. It's that way? That way? We're driving through the mountain town of Leh hard to tell whether it's the altitude or the jet lag that's getting us right now. This is the highest golf course in the world and it's basically unplayable unless you're in the military. Here it is. There's the little flag. You think this is the golf course here? This seems to be the parking lot for the Fire and Fury golf course. There's a shot of the first green right there. It's actually called a brown because it's made of dirt. Oh my God, it just looks so fun. Doesn't it look amazing? Driving range, I mean, this is it right here. It's beautiful. I really hope we get a chance to play. Hi, how are you? Eric, nice to meet you. I'm talking about playing golf. I'm pretty sure he just said I can get a tea time. Have you ever seen those movies about Americans that go to other countries and then they get detained for years? If this turns into a documentary about that, my wife is going to kill me. No? Even if uh, we can pay? No. No? Ugh, I wish we could play it. We need to find out how to play it. We need, we need, someone here needs to be able to get us on this course. Somebody needs to be able to do it. What, what do I do to play? Can I talk to someone? Practice for, only for Indian Army officers. Okay. One civilian not allowed this, in this. Okay. That didn't go very well. We were asked to leave the property. We weren't allowed to look around. Basically, it's only for military officers. And part of the problem is that today is a holiday, so there's no officers here. So that's our mission now, to find a military officer who can get us on this golf course. So here we are at the Ladakhi version of the Independence Day Fair. This is a display of vintage military items that have, were used in the Cold War. Does anybody here play golf? No? We're gonna keep going. We're gonna find an officer. Are you a military officer? No. What is this? This is uh, yeah. I love it. Do you play golf, you know, like Tiger Woods? Played golf? You know? 
No, you don't? One modification. Okay. Equal to two modification. Okay. Pulse? No, no, no. Golf. I, I do. You do? Yeah, yeah. All right, this is good. Men power. Yeah. Seven words. It takes seven men. Seven, seven how, men. How many women? Can we go play the golf course? No, no. Basically, uh, they are not allowed to you. Not for me. Yeah. But what about a very special civilian? No. Uh, VIP? Not VIP. They are no. playing army officers. Position 21,400 meter. I think after this, I might be an Minimum officer. Minimum range. What if I pay someone? Membership card. I, oh, membership then card. You have to membership, and then after that, you have to play. Tiger Woods, you uh, play or no? No? Because I want to go play to the golf course. Uh, there is no facility of course. Not possible. Fire and fury, not for the public. <laughs> All right. With it looking like playing golf in Lei was ever increasingly not possible, me and my crew decided to go check out the Thick Sea Monastery and see whether or not there was something else we could learn here that could maybe even apply to golf or this adventure itself. So the monk told me that the best thing for me to do in this situation when we want something to happen and we need good luck is to come here and spin these prayer wheels. Spinning them clockwise is said to be very beneficial. So I'm going to make sure I do this right. This could be all we needed to get on that course. So we made it to the top of the Thixay Monastery. I think, I think we're going to go and try to play the golf course again, you know? We did three things that I think are all really positive for us to go back and attempt to play the golf course again. We spun the prayer wheels, I talked to a monk, and also I did some inner work, you know? I did some thoughts about it, and I tried to clear my own attachment to flying all this f***ing way just to play a golf course and not being allowed to, so... Feeling really optimistic, I'm going to go back and try again. We talked to someone at the polo grounds. Polo ground, yes. Yeah, yeah, and he said, um, you need a card and you can pay a fee and they check your passport, but you can play. No, sir, this, no, I mean, no permissions. My producer's over there talking to that uh, quasi-military guy, trying to talk him into letting us play. Now our driver is also going over there. I'm just not very optimistic right now. I don't know, never has an adventure been this tough, so maybe that says something. I did hear my producer just say, maybe you never saw us. Wait, we can talk to him? Can they give us permission oh, okay. to go? Ah, okay, cool. He said the boss is gonna come and we're gonna see about permission. So either his boss is gonna shoot us or he's gonna Tell us we can play. I have no idea. Maybe we're literally just about to be arrested. I don't know. So we're just wondering, we talked to someone who said that I can fill out a form and pay some money and play. So I was just wondering if we could maybe play one hole or something. Mm, permission. Yeah. What? I could, I mean, maybe it's not legal, but I could pay you money, you know? Money, no. Money, no. Okay. Identity. Yeah. Identity. You want my passport? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll go get it. After taking my passport, they finally let me play under one condition. Absolutely no filming. <laughs> so cool, man. <laughs> you see that? We got to do it. We played, it okay. we played the course. I putted, I chipped, I hit out of a bunker on the most exclusive and highest golf course in the entire world. Whew. What should we do now? Should we go to Disney World? How about we just go back to America? <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings us to the end here of our episode of Adventures in Golf in wonderful Leh, India, where we learned that just because everyone says no, doesn't mean you can't do it. And just remember, adventures in golf are everywhere to be found.
That's it from us, folks. Don't forget to spay and neuter your pets.